Hello, N4H&H &H here, sitting in the truck. Quick video uh, to answer a question. I've had several people inquire about this lately. And to be honest with you, I, I thought I might have covered it in a video a long time ago about the 891. But just in case, I'll quickly uh, give you a synopsis. How do I operate the 891? I'm mobile. It seems like there's a lot of menus and all that kind of thing to complicate it. But it actually... It's not that complicated. Uh, I hear of people that are wrestling with, you know, pressing the band button, um, long pressing to change mode and all that stuff. I never do that because here's how I do it. Memory one, which from Yesu, that's going to be seven megahertz. I just change it to 1835, you know, somewhere in the CW range of 160 meters. I set it for CW and um, you'll notice I have IPO and attenuation on. Because on that low of a frequency, I really don't need uh, any amplification. Um, and this is mobile, so you got in some noise anyway. But anyway, that's memory one. And I, saw, I saved that as memory one. Oh, and I should mention too, um, on CW modes, I go into the, the menu, the function menu. Let me get over here for, um, see right here, narrow. For CW modes, I like to keep that on narrow. Um, looks like I didn't save it that way here. But uh, that way I've got my CW filter starts out at 500 hertz and then I work my way down. Okay, so see now I've got IPO, attenuation, and narrow. I've got my other 891 program that way, but I didn't do it on this one. Let me fix that focus. All right, so channel 2, memory 2. See up there, M01? Now here's M02, lower sideband, IPO, attenuation, 1880. There's some guys that hang out there sometimes at night for a rag chew, cool guys. And then I've got um, memory three is 1885. Notice AM, IPO, attenuation. And memory number four is 3535. Again, that's an area of CW in the um, 80 meter band. Notice I do have the narrow saved there. I don't have attenuation. Um, when you narrow the filter down, like I usually do to 50 or 100 hertz, the width here, um, see it starts at 500 there. I usually narrow that down to 50 or 100. When you do that, um, on the 80 meter band, 40 meter bands, as you start getting higher in frequency, you might need a little bit of amplification. But again, depending on the noise level, I may or may not attenuate. Always use IPO first. If you've watched my videos on this channel, you know always use IPO before attenuation. IPO helps your selectivity. So memory four. Uh, now, if you tune away from a memory, you'll notice the memory number changes to MT. Or if you make a change, by the way, that is a change that is different than how it came up in the memory, you'll see MT, memory tune. Now, I could tune away working at a station and then when I'm ready to return to memory mode, I tap the multi knob and you'll see the cursor moves back up to MT. Now watch what happens when I turn the multi knob. It returns me to memory mode and it returns to whatever the frequency was that I started out with before I turn the VFO knob. So there's 3535, then I have uh, some popular sideband frequencies you know, good group of guys in there late at night in the southeast on that one. Good group of guys in the mornings on that one in the southeast. And then there's AM, 3885, typical AM frequency. And then here's memory 8, 7.032. Soda summits on the air uh, stations tend to go there. So again, narrow mode, IPO. May or may not do attenuation depending on the noise level. And then there's a lower end sideband frequency. Um, notice IPO is on. Noise blaker's on just because I'm in a truck and I do have ignition noise and um, so I left it. I also saved that on. And there's uh, there's uh, South Cars, another sideband, and then here is a popular AM frequency for 40 meters. And then there's uh, 30 meters. Just I just put one in because it's all CW. 20 meters, 14.062, typical for summits on the air stations. Uh, 14.347, sideband, that's a typical frequency for soda stations. And then there's an AM for 20 meters. There's, um, now we're at 17, there's a popular CW frequency. 
IPO is enabled, but I probably, if there's a, low, this is mobile. If I was a base station, I probably would not use IPO this high up. You, you do need your RF amplifier. And, but again, narrow mode because I want the filter to start at 500 and then I can lower it, um, the width. Then um, there's a popular um, sideband USB frequency. And then there's an AM. And then here's 15 meters CW. Again, a summits on the air uh, frequency, you know, popular with summits on the air. And again, IPO only because I'm mobile. If you're base station, you're probably going to want to run that without IPO. All right. And then sideband, sideband, kind of a lower end, upper end sideband. And then another AM and um, 12 meters CW. Sideband, sideband. And then um, here we are on t 10 meters. And that is, uh, you know, a popular CW frequency for summits on the air. 28.062. Again, I'll probably, if I'm on a base station, I'm probably not going to run IPO. Then there's a calling frequency for 10 meters sideband, USB. And then I just put in a few other frequencies that are popular. And then an AM. So I'm now on memory 31. This is the FM portion of 10 meters. 29.600 FM simplex, and then there is 29.620. That is FM uh, with set for uh, repeater offset and 100 hertz tone, and I repeat that again for 640, 660, and 680. Those are the four popular uh, FM repeater frequencies, and then um, there's six meters. There's a CW um, frequency. There's a uh, a USB calling frequency, 50.125, another USB frequency, uh, FM calling frequency, and then some repeaters, just some of the lo local 6-meter repeaters to me. And then now we are at the 60-meter channels that are pre-programmed in Yaesu radios. They're in bank 5, so those come in the radio. Now, those of you who are wondering, why does it not say 5.332? At 5.01, um, if you've watched the video, uh, there's a video where I, in the um, playlist for the FT891 where I show how I did that. Uh, but you know, I basically used the um, alphanumeric option to go in there and and uh, make that say what what the carrier uh, point, the carrier frequency. It's suppressed, but what the carrier frequency it actually is for upper sideband on 60 meter channels. Remember, it's one and a half kilohertz below the center of the channel, which is what you see in CW mode. So then after all of that, it starts right over. So for example, if I want to go to um, 40 meters and, and I tune around, I find a CW station, see MT now, memory tune. When I'm finished, tap the multi knob, rotate, and it puts me right back in memory selection. So I never fool with the band knob up there. Uh, I don't even fool with the V uh, slash M because I'm always operating from memory tune mode. I very seldom touch any button on the top here, except I may tap the power button, which you know uh, locks. So that you, you, you can lock it in and then turning the VFO won't change anything. Okay, so I hope that uh, helps those of you who are wondering how I work with this radio and literally driving down the road um, it's to my right. Let me let me back up a little bit and you can see. So driving down the road, I can just reach over here and really I hardly ever fool with anything up there except the on-off button. And, uh, and of course, remember, a short tap of the on-off button locks the VFO. So then I'll just um, use the multi-knob. I use it more than anything, really, and cycle through where I want to go. And if I need to tune away, I will. Tap the multi-knob again. MT is highlighted. That's memory tune. Uh, hang on. I know you're not being able to see that. Let me get this thing to refocus. There we go. So I tap the uh, tap the multi knob. It returns the cursor to MT. Just rotate, and you're back in memory selection. Okay. I hope that helps someone. Uh, those of you who were wondering about that, I've actually written it and replied to some comments and some emails. So I thought, well, okay, if I'm having to explain it, then I probably should need to shoot a video about it. So there you go. Hope you found that helpful. And, um, hey, thank you, Patreons, for helping me keep the channel going. I do appreciate that. And if you would like the video, that helps us out with 
uh, YouTube. And um, hey, and if you want to uh, click the bell, you'll be notified when I upload the next video. Thanks for watching in 73 from N4H&H.